Hello, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to show you what I've done with the MDF Butterfly that's part of the special release on the How to Craft Network from Funky Fossil Designs. It's an exclusive bundle and for it I've used this butterfly stamp. I've used the gorgeous floral aspect of it on the MDF. Now I have done some of the, I've prepped the MDF off camera because I'd never worked with MDF before and I'd painted it, I covered it in gesso, painted it in white acrylic paint and then using the floral half of the butterfly, I stamped the wings all across it in VersaFine Claire Monarch um, ink, which gives a lovely crisp image. On the other side, I covered it in uh, the VersaFine ink again, and then I coated it in this gorgeous wow embossing powder by Marion Emerson called Hope and Positivity. It's got lovely hues of purple and pink in it, and it just looked absolutely stunning on the butterfly once it had been heat set. So that was how I'd done the first wing of the butterfly. So I'm going to show you on camera now some aspects of how I did the actual finishing part of the of the butterfly. Um, but yeah, look at all that shine. It gives a really gorgeous glittery, shimmery effect. So I'd gone ahead and stamped the one side and the other side I've left blank. So I'm going to show you how I did the heat embossing uh, on the MDF. And this is just a really quick um, and easy technique. So I coated it in one half and then I covered that one half of the wing in embossing powder and heat set that. And then I came back in and did the other half simply because it was just quicker. Um, and obviously also you needed something to hold on to while you heat set the other half of the wing. So I'll just um, speed this little bit up now so you can watch the process. Now because it's a glitter embossing powder, it's ideal to cover it in baking paper just so that the glitter doesn't fly everywhere while you're doing the heat embossing. So that's all I was doing there. It, I just gave it enough time to heat set, uh, enough so that the glitter would stay and then I took the baking paper off and, and finished it off on top. So now you can see how gorgeous and shimmery it looks and um, it just looks really pretty. And um, the way the butterfly goes together, you can have it either way. So you can have the glitter on the inside or you can have the glitter on the outside. I opted to have the glitter on the outside. Um, sorry, the glitter on the inside. Uh, and that just gives a beautiful effect on the outside. Uh, and you, you still get to see all that sparkle. Um, so yeah, it's just really, really, really pretty. Really fun project. There's so many different ways that you could decorate this. Um, and obviously it could be used for home decor, it could be used as a door hanger, it could be used in a bookcase, uh, make a lovely little present for somebody, perhaps a home warming gift um, that you've personally decorated for them. I mean, you could even use it as wall art. The possibilities are endless. You, I mean, because it's not thick MDF, um, if you've got a um, decent sized journal, you could even use it in, in journaling. Uh, but it makes a really fun mixed media style project. Uh, it's a really nice size. And yeah, I was really happy with how it turned out. Yeah, as you can see, I'm just playing with it there. <laughs> how to stand it up or what to do with it. Um, now off camera, I decided I would add some ribbon to it, uh, which may, I just used the little holes in the wings uh, to pop the ribbon through. And that um, turned it into a lovely little home decor piece. I also went over the edges with white acrylic paint uh, because as you can see, I've got ink all down the sides. So I'll just um, take a few photos and I'll come back and add them to this video so you can see the finished project. 